Boys and girls, welcome to another edition of MR2 Spider for Dummies. This means you, just kidding. In today's edition, we cover the fuel pump, how to remove it. Why would you want to remove the fuel pump? Well, sometimes the fuel pump stops working. Or sometimes you need to access it in order to test it. In a, a left-hand drive car, the fuel pump is located behind the uh, passenger seat. Its access hatch is covered up by plastics and cubbies. So we're just going to take it from uh, having removed the cubbies. How do we get to the fuel pump and how do we get it out of the fuel tank? So let's do that. The first thing we need to do is to remove this access cover. And to do that all we need is a flat blade screwdriver. Wedge it underneath. Peel the cover back. The cover has a some uh, tarry material underneath that holds it down. Now, to make this uh, easier to continue, this grommet, we're just gonna squeeze it, loosen it up, so now the cover can move freely. Next, we wanna disconnect the electricals. We have a connector for the pressure sensor. It has a tab right on top. You press the tab, squeeze it until it clicks. Slide the connector back. Okay, same thing. The connector for the fuel pump has a tab on this side right here. Squeeze it until we hear a click. It comes up. Now we have access to uh, two of the uh, uh, lines. One is the EVAP line that goes to the carbon canister. And the other one is the main fuel line that goes up to the fuel rail. Okay, so for the EVAP line, it has two tabs, one on either side. You take a uh, needle nose plier, we squeeze these tabs together very solidly, pull on the line. This is a quick connect line. This is the standard way of removing any quick connect line. You can see it has these tabs on the side. Next is the main fuel line. The main fuel line has this yellow lock uh, bracket. It's a little locker clip made out of plastic. To remove this yellow locking clip, get a screwdriver, flat plate screwdriver, wedge it in, and just uh, by levering it out, it comes out. Now, this is uh, a non-reusable item. Okay, many people reuse it. Many people say that they've reused theirs many, many times. That's fine. The uh, Toyota repair book, repair manual, states that this should be replaced on every use. And I will uh, add the part number for this at the end. It's like a $2 part. Okay, now that we've removed the clip, can just pry up the fuel line. And we're good to go. We have disconnected the fuel lines. We have disconnected the electrical lines. Now we need to remove the retainer ring. It is held down by a number of Phillips head screws. Please use a good uh, Phillips head screwdriver, a solid one with a solid tip. Otherwise, you will be stripping these screws. And if you strip one, you'll have to drill it out, which is not fun. These come out pretty easily. Just uh, apply some pressure downward to make sure the screwdriver is seated nicely. Okay, just press down. And uh, if you... Press down and these screws will, will come out. Now the screws are all out. We set them aside. We take another flathead screwdriver just in case it's needed to pry this thing up. It comes up very easily. Remember the location of this tab. It fits against this indentation in the top of the pump. And uh, from here, you just uh, lift up the pump. Now, 
have to take it out at an angle so that uh, the float can clear the opening. Um, and here it is. One of the reasons you might have to remove the pump is because this uh, sender quits working. And this is a repair you can do at this point. Repair the sender. And uh, we'll point out in a separate video all the features of the fuel pump and how to disassemble it entirely. But uh, for today, this is all we're going to do. Thanks for watching.